I dedicate this poem to my mother, Geraldine, my aunt, Joan, and my daughter, Aurelia. Place, position, status. What's a woman's place if not first? How could thrive the human race without her live mold? A woman's place is not behind, unless she's behind the wheel, directing the passage, navigating the way forward. Or she's behind the controls, piloting, soaring to the sun. Or she's behind the desk, instructing, managing, teaching. A woman's place is not in the home, unless it's a house of finance, or it's the House of Commons, or it's Windsor Castle and or Rideau Hall. A woman's place is not out back, unless she's the front line backup, who don't back down, not until the downpressed are standing up. Woman's position ain't to cook and clean, but to petition in quest like a queen. A woman's position isn't secondary, but to be supreme, like a Supreme Court justice and render decisions primary. A woman's position isn't drudgery, but to become the judge and to mete out equality, to never deem rights luxuries. A woman's position isn't retro, to go back to the kitchen, to go back to the nursery, to forget, to regret, to forego. A woman's position isn't reversed by adversity, by the biases that history has had her story rehearse. And what's a woman's status? To be valued and vatic, gifted by afflatus, autonomous, automatic, but it's also her status to give chauvinous static, to face down the fatuous, to act up, be dramatic. She may have indigenous status. She may have landed immigrant status. She may have working class status, but her standing is always righteous. May her status always be first, the first to argue for rights, for power, and a wallet equal purse, and no victory's delights.